Hello friends, it's Mr. Jim and welcome back to Kids Animal Stories. Today's story is going to be fun because it is a mystery adventure. This is where I lay out all the clues of this critter throughout the story and it's your job to solve the mystery as a critter protector. You have to listen closely to all the clues and in the next story in part two, that is where we will reveal the answer. Are you guys ready for today's adventure? Me too. Let's go. Our story begins in a rainforest. Yes, a real rainforest, which means it rains a lot. And this rainforest is found in Australia. So I think all of our Australian friends are going to have... Hmm, quite the advantage on solving this mystery. But here we go. Olivia was looking for a place to lay her eggs. She had a belly that was completely full of about 25 eggs. Wow, that is a lot of eggs. I don't know if Olivia is like super big or the eggs are small enough to fit in there, but wow, 25 eggs, that is a lot of little babies. As she moved through the leaves and the sticks, she thought she found a great spot off in the distance. Oh, wow, that looks like a perfect crevice in that mangrove forest, said Olivia. She crawled her way over the rest of the way and started to investigate. Wow, this is such a great mangrove forest, she said. The kids will love to climb around in here. You see, for a critter like Olivia, mangrove forest is a really great spot because she's actually bright green. And so all the leaves in the mangrove forest will be great camouflage for her to hide because when she lays her eggs, you know, a lot of critters and animals in the world, they lay their eggs and then they leave them. You know, maybe it's a turtle. Uh, the turtle might be dig a big hole in the ground and bury the eggs and that turtle goes back to the water or goes back on living and those babies are kind of all on their own to hatch out of those eggs well olivia she is one that's going to stay with her eggs in fact her job is not just to stay with them but to wrap them up in a very big hug huh what in the world kind of critter is olivia not sure yet Well, Olivia had found the perfect place to lay all 25 eggs. And our story is going to need to fast forward a little bit because those eggs take a long time to hatch. Olivia has been wrapped around her eggs now for several weeks. She's growing kind of tired. Uh, I can't wait for them to hatch. Have you ever had a a baby come into your family before? Well, your mom is probably pretty tired leading up to the big day when the baby is born and then even after the baby is born. It's just, it's a lot of work to take care of babies. And Olivia, they haven't even hatched yet and she's pretty tired. Oh, Oh, I gotta check my heat radar. Beep, beep. Wait a second. It's not working, said Olivia. Wait, hold on a second. She's got a heat radar? I gotta look that up to make sure that's true. Um, oh yes, Olivia has heat sensing pits around her mouth. Wow, that's amazing. It says that even when it's pitch black outside, that she can use these kind of like a radar or night vision. Have you ever seen uh, what night vision looks like? Yeah, it's it's where the lights could be completely black and you can't see even your fingers in front of your eyeballs. But if you have night vision or like Olivia's heat sensing pits, you can see creatures that are emitting heat from their bodies. Okay, hold on. That is a lot to break down. You see, there's creatures like me and you we're mammals that means we release heat from our bodies if you touch your arm it feels warm right yes that means our bodies are producing and releasing heat 
And so Olivia, she's got a super amazing power that she can see that even if the lights are out. But another very interesting fact about Olivia is that she is not warm-blooded like us. She is cold-blooded, which means her body does not produce the heat that she needs. She needs an external source to warm her up. Can you think of something that cold-blooded critters uh, use to warm them up? Uh, Not a blanket. That would not work. But yes, the sun. The sun is a great way for a critter like Olivia to warm up. But hold on a second. Enough about all that. Olivia's heat-sensing pits are not currently working. It's like they're blocked by some dirt or something. This is super dangerous because in the middle of the night, there could be a predator that she didn't see coming and it could sneak right up on her. And do you know one of those predators lives in that rainforest very close by? Oh, yes. His name is Manny. Manny the Mangrove Monitor. Do you know what a monitor is? It's a very big lizard. Very, very big. Probably bigger than you. (laughs) Wow. And Manny, he really likes to eat eggs. Livia started to get worried. She had spent weeks protecting her eggs, and she could feel that it was getting close to the hatching day. But all of a sudden, she heard something nearby. Hello? 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 Who is there? Said Olivia. There was no response. Hello? I'm not afraid to bite. Holy smokes, what in the world is creeping up behind Olivia? Is it Manny the mangrove monitor? Or is it somebody else? Hmm. And hold on, we gotta recap all of our clues. Have you figured out who Olivia is? All right, the clues that I wrote down is uh, she lays eggs. Okay, interesting, interesting. And uh, she has, oh yes, those heat sensing pits on her face. That's pretty cool. Uh, I don't have those. Um, Did you hear any other clues? Do you remember what color Olivia was? Uh, oh yes, green, great job. So a green egg laying Korea critter that uh, has some fancy pits on her face. I have no clue. Have you figured this out, all of my Australian friends? I'm going to need to do some more thinking because we never give up. Right, my friends? Yes, and I hope Olivia never gives up either. We will have to wait and see what happens on the next episode of Kids Animal Stories. Great job. You listened all the way to the end, and I have a question for you. Do you remember what predator is uh, the one that we're worried about with Olivia? Was it a hippopotamus or a mangrove monitor? Yes, Manny the mangrove monitor is the one who really likes to eat eggs, and that is a serious concern to the situation that Olivia is in. Well... Friends, I hope Olivia is able to choose to be brave and never give up. And I don't know, we're going to have to wait and see what happens on the next episode of Kids Animal Stories.